It's a bombshell accusation, not true, according to Peter Franco. The Moore campaign backs up its claim with documents. Franco calls it a desperate move to try to catch him in the polls. It's just nonsense. State Controller Peter Franco, the front runner in the Democratic primary race for governor, is responding to an accusation he can be bought. They think that by impugning someone's character, they can win. It's not true. They're going to be left behind because this is something the public is really turned off about. When we're talking about integrity, pay for play is not part of that integrity pledge. He's talking about an allegation made by Democrat candidate Wes Moore during a debate Monday in the race for governor. It followed an integrity question raised by WBAL-TV anchor Deborah Weiner. There are oftentimes people who have donated to his campaign. No, not once, not twice, but 12 times that has happened, that he has offered a contract to someone who has donated to his campaign. The Moore campaign provided 43 pages of documents to support examples of pay-for-play claims that happened shortly before or after key votes on the Board of Public Works. The Moore campaign identified 12 companies who gave Franco's campaign more than $50,000 and have gotten state contracts worth more than $1.6 billion. It's completely anticipated and it's highly unfortunate because instead of talking about issues that Maryland citizens and voters care about, they end up impugning people's character and their motives. And in a primary, that's just poisonous. An independent poll by the Baltimore Sun and University of Baltimore puts Peter Franco as the front runner with 20% of the vote in the Democratic race for governor, followed by Wes Moore with 15% and Tom Perez carrying 12%. This desperate last minute can I possibly catch him in the polls? That's what this is all about, and it's, it's sad, frankly. I am the absolute opposite of someone who is affected by campaign contributions. I have, in my entire career, never had a blemish. Franco predicts talking about going negative. Franco predicts going negative rather than talking about issues is likely to backfire with voters. The primary is July 19th. Reporting live from Annapolis, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News. All right, David, thank you very much. And you can watch the Democrat gubernatorial debate in its entirety and see our voter's guide where you can find who's running in all of the races and important election dates. It's all in the WBAL-TV app. All you have to do is tap on politics.